Hi guys, so during Prime Minister's questions on Wednesday, Boris Johnson, it seemed, was called out by the Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House actually stood up and forced or attempted to force Boris Johnson to answer a question, which shocked me because the Prime, the Prime Minister normally gets away with just talking absolute twaddle and the Speaker of the House never really intervenes. So you're going to hear the Speaker intervene, but then the sting of the tail is that Boris Johnson reinforced his position in Parliament. He knows that he can get away with it, and he demonstrated this once again. So let's see the exchange. I'll tell you that, Mr Speaker, I'll tell you the difference between uh, us and the, and the party opposite, is that we put in the tough measures that are needed to give kids a better education across the country. When we rolled out the academies programme, Mr Speaker, which have driven up standards across the country, who opposed it? They did. When we put in tough measures uh, to ensure discipline in schools, Mr Speaker, they opposed it. They, 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 at the last election, Mr Speaker, they even campaigned to get rid of Ofsted, which is so vital. But they did. Now, first of all, Keir Starmer was not in charge at the last election. Jeremy Corbyn was in charge. So using this as a stick to beat Keir Starmer makes no sense. They did. He stood on a manifesto to get rid of Ofsted. Will he now say? Will he now say that he not only supports our uh, our tuition program, but he supports our radical program to support teachers with better training? Four hundred million pounds we're now putting in, not only a, a starting salary for teachers of thirty thousand pounds, which we've introduced, but another four hundred million to support better training for teachers. That's what we're backing in our party. They are serious costed reforms and are based on evidence, unlike anything he's producing. Just, 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 just a moment, and we'll have a little less, little less shouting from the Just to say, just to remind the Prime Minister, it's Prime Minister's questions. It isn't about the agenda of last general election. Keir Starmer. The Prime Minister, Ofsted, was not the question. I'm not interested in what they put on the agenda. I'm more interested in you answering the question. So, finally, we see the Speaker of the House stand up to Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson didn't like to be corrected here. You could see uh, him moving his hands when he was um, when he sat down, as if to say, what did I do wrong? This is Prime Minister's questions. These are questions for the Prime Minister, not questions for the opposition. And as the Speaker said, which is correct, we're not talking about the last election. We're talking about today. Now, Boris Johnson, it seems, was corrected here. But was he? Yes, uh, Mr Speaker, I, I think I'm, with great respect, Mr Speaker, I do think I'm entitled to draw attention uh, to what the Labour Party uh, stood on at the last election. And that was, and they haven't yet repudiated it, uh, they did want to get rid of Ofsted, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, but uh, I, will, I will tell the right honourable gentleman that if he is now saying... So, and then the exchange goes on, but between Keir Starmer and Boris Johnson. But you see here that the Speaker stood up. He said, look, you're not supposed to talk about this. And Boris, what did Boris Johnson do? He replied by saying, with all due respect, I can say whatever the hell I want. This was a challenge to the Speaker of the House. This was Boris Johnson stamping his authority, demonstrating to the Speaker, you, you can say whatever you like, but you have no control over me. You have no control over this parliament. We have our 80 or 81 seat majority. There's nothing you can do about it. We are in charge, not you. Now, it was good to see the speaker actually stand up and do something for a change. Um, perhaps he has received some pressure from outside parliament and maybe from MPs to, do act to actually stand up to Boris Johnson, not allow him to run roughshod over the rules of parliament and democracy itself. But I hope we're going to see the Speaker call out Boris Johnson when he doesn't do his job. His job is to answer questions, not to ask questions of the opposition, and he's supposed to answer questions related to the topic at hand, not introduce new topics related to things that happened years ago. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you thought about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support.
If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?